Over the last few years, my work as an executive coach has become focused on helping leaders bring wisdom into the workplace. I've become very passionate about this. And here is what I've learned. Now, we intuitively associate wisdom with age, accumulating experience and knowledge over many years and gray. What I discovered was actually the opposite. Wisdom is about letting go. When we're younger, we identify with our knowledge and experience. That's what makes us valuable in the workplace. Wisdom is learning to let go of that identification so that we can be free to grow in new ways. The knowledge and experience are still there, but we're no longer defined by all that. That's the main theme I've seen, learning to let go. In practical terms, wisdom and leadership comes from learning to let go in three areas. First, what I call authenticity. This is related to your labels and identities. For example, when you were promoted to a senior leadership position, you probably had to let go of the technical expert role you spent years developing. Your identity needed to shift from expert contributor to leader. The second area is adaptability. This is about adjusting your dreams and goals to changing situations. Here's an example. For the last couple decades, many businesses could be successful just by writing market growth. That's pretty much over. Plans have been disrupted, dreams have been put on hold, and prior goals may no longer be achievable. Successful leaders and companies will quickly pivot to new goals. Unsuccessful leaders hold on emotionally to the past. The third area is creativity. Now, this is more than just producing artwork or playing a musical instrument, which is great. This is about reinventing yourself and your organization. It's about letting go of your authority and being a beginner again. And it's also about letting go of your hold on others so you can encourage others to grow and reinvent themselves. This is where empowerment comes from. Instead of delegating tasks, which is a management function, wisdom leaders learn to delegate outcomes and even authority. Now, wisdom does come easier with age, but only because when we're older, we've had many more opportunities to learn to let go. There's a lot more to let go of when we're older, but you don't need to wait. You can learn to let go now. If you practice mindfulness, you already have a powerful tool. If you want to develop wisdom, mindfulness is probably the single most effective practice I can think of. But you can start even without practicing mindfulness. All it takes is a conscious decision to begin letting go. So, what do you want to let go of today?